Well, hi everyone, this is Bob the Science Guy, and you know, I thought I would take a second just to have a look at a claim that I've seen from the Flat Earth, and that is that gravity doesn't exist. It's just the ground coming up at 9.8 meters per second squared. Let's go ahead and have a look at that real quick. Well, the equation for position is right here. It was the original position times the initial velocity times the time times one half the acceleration times square. If we take the derivative of s with respect to time, xo drops out, the t drops out here, and we get vo plus at. Now ds over dt is also called velocity, so we'll just go ahead and put that right there. What I want to do is I want to go ahead and find out how long it will take for the Earth to reach the speed of light which is 3.0 times 10 to the eighth meters per second. All right, so the initial speed of the Earth will say is zero, so that'll drop out, and that will equal the acceleration times time. Well, the acceleration is 9.8 meters per second squared. We can solve for the time in seconds. So what we'll do is we'll go over here, and we'll take 3.0 times 10 to the eighth meters per second, divide it by 9.8 meters per second squared, and this will give us our answer in seconds. And this works out to 30.6 times 10 to the 6 seconds. Now it's kind of interesting because 30.6 just so happens to be the number of Earth diameters it is from the center of the Earth to the moon. What's that mean? Absolutely nothing. Complete coincidence. So how long is this? Well, if you divide this by 3600, you get the number of hours. And then if you divide it again by 24 hours, you're going to get the number of days. And it's actually going to work out to 354.3 days. That means that if the Earth initially was at a velocity of zero and it accelerated at 9.8 meters per second squared to give us the illusion of gravity, we would run out of speed in less than a year. Now, obviously, there are relativistic corrections that need to be made with this, and quite frankly, one of the reasons that we would stop is our mass would become infinite. But I just wanted to demonstrate why the upward acceleration of the Earth at 9.8 meters per second squared is not a substitute for gravity. This is Bob the Science Guy. Drop me a like. I'll see you again soon.